Hi, Linda Bowen here with StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday, so it is my creative fold, but also I'm going to teach you two techniques today with my creative fold. And my first one, I am going to use the Petal Pairs Embossing Folder. Now these embossing folders are in the Occasions catalog, but are very easy to miss. And they have, um, the one has the leaves and one has flowers on it. Now I've taken the one and have already run a piece of Whisper White through it. This measures five and a half by one and three eighths. And I am uh, down here in Florida uh, for the winter and I forgot my sponge daubers. And every time I go to order, I forget to order them. Um, and so what I'm going to use today, this is just a baby white and I have left it wet and I've went into my ink pad and I've got that rich razzleberry. And what I have found, I have used Kleenexes before, paper towels, whatever for uh, sponging but I have found when you use a baby wipe it is moist and it allows you to sponge um, more vivid um, color and also it um, spreads a lot easier so now I'm just using the old olive just to kind of highlight um, that folder I use this technique on my customer appreciation uh, PDF file um, this month. Uh, so I thought I would do a video showing you how um, to do that technique. So I'm going to go ahead and close those up. The other technique I am going to show you uses our alcohol stamp and blend markers and I'm going to bring in the metallic um, gold edge ribbon that is found in the regular um, annual catalog and I am going to color this ribbon. Now this ribbon comes in gold um, edge or silver edge and when you take your blends you can change that to any color you want and the cool thing is is that it colors on both sides now I've already done um, a piece that has dried I am using my silicone mat to work on and what happens is you can't see it in the video well I guess you can't because this one when it's wet is kind of limp but once you have done it with the blends it kind of stiffens up so pretty cool um, technique so there's two techniques and now we will get on to our creative fold what I am doing is bringing in a piece of rich razzleberry this measures five and a half inches by seven and what I'm going to do is um, a gatefold or maybe it'd be called a peekaboo uh, card and probably a, a variation of a gatefold. It's a shorter um, gate on it and I am scoring it at the one and three eighths so each of the gate side is um, scored at the one and three eighths and it still gives me the standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I'm going to bring in a piece of very vanilla. This measures four inches by see is my four inches by five and a quarter and I have just added my fast fuse. Now I'm also going to add my fast fuse right on the flap. I'm going to be using those pieces that I sponge, but I have found that it's easier to just put my adhesive on that gate fold. So I've got that and I'm just going to apply those pieces that I sponged. Aren't they just beautiful? And let's get the other one that I did ahead of time. Now I did put it on the um, embossed side this time. I had been finding uh, problems. My fast fuse was pulling up the embossing. That's why I put it on the flap for the first one. But this one seemed to work good. So I've got this piece. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another piece of rich razzleberry. This measures two and a quarter by three and a half. And I am just going to place that on the front of the card about here. 
going to bring in my framelit. This is from the Hold On To Hope um, bundle. And I have taken that cross and I have run it through um, the gold foil. And now I'm just gonna get that to pop up. I should have remembered to put my adhesive sheet on there, but I did not. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, um, let me see. I think I am gonna go ahead and use a dimensional on that. Um, just a small piece of dimensional, if I can find my dimensionals. If not, here's a glue dot. So let's just use the glue dot. I'm gonna go in and put the glue dot right in the center of the cross. Have you not looked at that Hold On To Hope um, bundle? It is a great, great bundle. And so I've kind of got that like so. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna bring in that ribbon that I did and I'm going to add a glue dot to the back of that and put that behind my cross. And then drape it down like so. I'm gonna add another glue dot on the other side. I just grab the glue dot with my snips. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So like I said, your ribbon is a lot stiffer when you have used those stamping blends to color it. So I've got that, and I'm just going to snip off that ribbon. So this would make a great um, Easter card. I am now just going to take the words, and I see that I have put this just a little bit too far um, to the right, so I'm just gonna pick that up and add a little more adhesive to make sure that it sticks. And I'm just gonna add that over here. And then I am going to go back into my Rich Brazzleberry and I'm going to stamp God is Love. And again, that is from the Hold On To Hope on a stamp set, which is a Million Dollar Achiever stamp set, Brandy Cox's um, stamp set. And so I've got God is Love. And there you have a gatefold using that beautiful um, Hold On To Hope bundle and two great new techniques. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.